You know, federally, we've never made government, but we've always made a difference. Alexa McDonough's passion for public policy came naturally as the daughter of Jean McKinnon and Lloyd Shaw. It was a family mission to inject fairness into social policy. Following university, Alexa became a social worker. We as social workers uh, see the potential for law to become a chief social change agent. She was always somebody who uh, really fought for regular people and uh, you know that's been her entire life story and she continues to do it today. She demonstrated uh, through her uh, extraordinary work uh, that there was uh, not just a place uh, for women in politics, but there was a voice uh, on behalf of uh, women that was essential to the political debate. Alex is a legend at home. Uh, people talk about her political career very fondly. As winter approached Halifax in 1980, Alexa decided to battle some cold winds in the Nova Scotia New Democratic Party and entered the leadership race. On November 16th, she made history. The NDP in Nova Scotia elected a new leader today. Alexa McDonough becomes the first woman to lead any political party in the province. She was there by herself and uh, she was not intimidated at all. Uh, and her groundbreaking work, of course, then led to eventually the election of a NDP government in Nova Scotia. When, when Alexis took over as leader, uh, challenges to, were really something that uh, she relished. She had that unique ability to be able to draw people in, to build their confidence in the party and in her as a leader. Uh, and, uh, you know, really, uh, that was, well, that is, I think, when the party really took root in Nova Scotia. A political era is coming to an end in Nova Scotia. Alexa McDonough is stepping down after 14 years as the leader of Nova Scotia's New Democrats. It's very, very important to me that you understand I do it with total joy and with no sense of regret whatsoever. Alexa was a pioneer for women in politics as a result of the strong leadership and the strong profile that Alexa developed. It no longer seems strange uh, to have women having a major impact in politics in Nova Scotia. But Alexa's political journey wasn't over yet. A year later, while some Canadians were still getting rid of Thanksgiving leftovers, Alexa became the new leader of the federal New Democratic Party. And in the 1997 election, she would bring about historic change for the NDP. There were 29 messages on my message machine when I got home. She led her party to a breakthrough in Atlantic Canada. They picked up several seats in Nova Scotia and New Brunswick. And uh, that really will be her, I think, part of her uh, political legacy. When Alexa became party leader, we had lost official party status. She fought. She created a very distinguished team. Alexa McDonough focused the team on what had to be done. She brought us back from the brink. She got us our official party status again in the House of Commons and started taking us forward to what we were able to build upon to now be the official opposition. It takes a lot of guts to go and and uh, be a pioneer for a federal party in a place like uh, Atlantic Canada and break through and she deserves all kinds of credit for being a real leader for the NDP. My memories of sitting with Alexa McDonough are mostly about a woman who always came extremely well prepared. That for me is a model of a good parliamentarian. Someone who comes in on any given debate with her notes, she's done her research, she's prepared exactly what she wants to say. Despite a surplus there are still one in five children living in poverty in this country. She was goal-oriented, uh, she respected Parliament, she respected the rest of us who came to Parliament, all with the best of intentions to serve our country. Alexa McDonough announced she is quitting as leader of the New Democratic Party. In her 30 years in public service, she had made a difference. Alexa McDonough is a role model for a lot of women in politics because she has accomplished a lot in her history as a, as a politician, both in the legislature of Nova Scotia as well as here uh, federally. The fact that we got to look up and see a woman in the legislature, in Parliament like Alexa, a woman who, who was strong, who was a leader, a national leader, who was solid on so many issues, just, just Alexa being Alexa. If there's something we can do to share her vision is to continue her quest for peace. She's known internationally 
uh, for her uh, nuclear disarmament work. Uh, she became the peace advocate that was named by uh, Jack Layton. Alexa became the interim president for Mount St. Vincent University before finally retiring to spend time with her family. Her seven grandchildren can all be very proud of their grandmother. When I first met Alexa, I was struck right away by uh, how sincere and committed she, she really was. She uh, was unwavering in her commitment to those things in which she believed. Unwaveringly supportive and encouraging. Alexa was a role model and a mentor to many new members of Parliament. Gutsy and determined uh, is uh, certainly two words I would use to describe Alexa. She is uh, a determined uh, and remains a determined force in the life of our country. Alexa McDonough was determined as a politician, and I can tell you one of the experiences of going door knocking with her in the campaign was someone who was tireless. The Canadian Association of Former Parliamentarians is pleased to honor Alexa McDonough.